Students, from today onwards, we'll start uh, our practice session on this chapter, Understanding Quadrilaterals. So I've come up with three figures. And remember, whichever sums I'm doing during the practice session for any chapters, please be very serious with all those questions. Okay, so let's begin with the first one. See the first figure? Okay, the first figure is, this is an exterior angle given 140 degree. This is also the given exterior angle as 130 degree. You have to find this value of this x. So, first of all, let's draw this figure. Okay, draw this figure. Mm, like this. Like this. And like this. Okay, so this is x. This is 140 given, isn't it? This is also 140 given. This is 130. Given. So how exactly we can do this? So see, two exterior angles are given. So if I take this as A and take this as B, okay. So we know that these two angles are adjacent to each other, and as because this line is a straight line, so these two angles will be what linear pair. So the first thing you will find out the value of A. That is 140. A plus 140 degree equals to 180 degree. Okay, you will give the reason as linear pair. Okay, now transpose this 140 to that side, so it will look like 180 minus 140. That is 40 degree. So this is 40 degree, isn't it? Now similarly, we'll doing will the same treatment with B also. So B plus 130 degree equals to 180 degree. Why? They are also adjacent to each other and they are the combination of these two angle is one, 180 degree, isn't it? So they are also linear pair. So B is 180 minus 130 which is equals to 50 degree. So we know the value of 50 degree. Now if you carefully observe this thing, this is a quadrilateral, isn't it? So sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is equals to what? 360 degree okay that is a plus b plus 140 degree plus x is equals to 360 degree this is angle sum property of a quadrilateral any quadrilateral students okay so this is the reason that you will give Okay, so if you add all the interior angles of a quadrilateral, it should be equal to 360. Now, what is the value of A? Value of A is 40 degree. Now, what is the value of B? B is 50 degree. Okay, now there is 140 degree. We have to get the value of X. 140 degree plus X is equal to 360 degree. Now, add up all those numbers. So, this will be what? 180 and it will be 230 90 plus 230 plus x is equals to 360 degree so x is what transpose this 230 to that side so the answer is 130 degree okay so this is the solution of question number one let's check out question number two yes this is question number two okay now 55 this is also exterior angle 130 degree this is also exterior angle why this is also exterior angle and if this is 90 then the exterior angle to this interior angle will be also 90 degrees so all the exterior angles are given students okay so as we know sum of all exterior angles of a polygon is equals to what 360 degree so what are the exterior angles given 55 plus 130 plus 90 plus y is equals to 360 degree. now we have to add up all these things so it would be 275 plus y is equals to 360 degree so transpose that 275 towards right hand side okay so the value of y would be what 85 plus 
45 degree okay so these are the solutions this is a solution of question number two let's move on to sum number three now this is sum number three this is sum number three now you see it is a, a sort of a trapezium where opposite sides are parallel to each other 100 degree is an uh, opposite angle okay so uh, as we have learned in the parallel line section if these two are parallel lines and this if this is a transversal line then what was the relation between these two angles these two angles were what co-interior angles remember so you see carefully these are the two parallel lines and this line is acting as a transversal line so these two angles will be what co-interior angle and this the angles which are co-interior angle their sum is always equals to 180 degree so let's find out the value of y first okay so y plus 120 degree is equals to 180 degree okay why as because they are co interior angles okay so now transpose this 120 degree to that side so it will be 180 minus 120 degree so the value of y is what 60 degree in this particular figure we are supposed to get the value of y as well as x also so now we are aware of the value of y that is 60 now let's take how to get the value of x now there's many ways that you can f get the value of x so first of all let us take this angle as a so now this angle and this exterior angle are equivalent to what linear pairs isn't it that is the sum of these two angles is equals to 180 degree and the reason would be linear pairs so let's do it a plus 100 degree is equals to 180 degree so why always give the reason because this is a very important criteria every for every geometrical section whatever you are doing you are always supposed to give the reason now transpose that 100 towards right hand side so 180 minus 100 it will be equal to what 80 isn't it now if this is 80 then again the way y and 120 were related to each other the similar relations x and a are having that is they are also co angle so we can write it as x plus a equals to 180 degree why as because they are co interior angle okay this is one way of getting the value of x yes, there was another way i will show you that also so x a is what 80 degree so please transpose this 80 towards that side so it will look like 180 minus 80 so it is what x equals to 100 degree isn't it so value of x is 100 so this is one way or we could have said directly that x is equals to 180 degree as because you see what was the relation this and this one and two what was the relation remember these are interior altered angle remember so in the same way x and 180 degrees can be termed as an alternate angle okay if you suppose if you do not want to take this process if you do not want to take this process you could have said that x is equals to 100 degree y alternate angle okay so today's assignment is this three sums draw the figure and then do the solution without drawing the figure i will not accept okay so draw the figure and then the solution draw this solution then draw this one then the solution draw this figure and then the solution okay thank you and take care